The English translation for Eke Homo is Behold the Man, or Here is the Man, or See the Man, referring to an episode from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 5, where Pontius Pilate presents Jesus to a large crowd after his arrest. It's the scene just before the crucifixion of Jesus when Pilate, the fifth governor of the Roman province of Judea, has to decide what to do with Jesus who has just been arrested. This scene has been a popular subject in art history and there are many paintings with the title Ecce Homo, and that is the focus of this video. But first about the pronunciation. I am choosing for the Latin pronunciation Ecce Homo instead of Ecce Homo which is more often used in English. One of the best paintings on this subject, in my opinion, was made in 1862 by Antonio Cicero, showing how a half-naked Jesus is presented to the crowd below, with Pilate asking the crowd what he should do with this man. But I'm curious to hear which Ecce Homo painting in this video is your favorite. The story has not only been described in the Biblical Gospels, but also by the Roman Jewish historian Josephus and the famous Roman historian Tacitus. Ecce Homo scenes were a pretty standard part of painting cycles depicting the passion and life of Christ. It usually follows after a scene about the flagellation of Christ and the crowning with thorns, both painted here by Caravaggio. What follows is the biblical story in John 19, telling the story of Jesus in front of Pontius Pilate as follows. When the leading priest and the Jewish guards saw Jesus, they shouted, Kill him on the cross! Kill him on the cross! But Pilate answered, You take him and nail him to a cross yourselves. I find nothing I can charge him with. The Jewish leaders answered, We have a law that says he must die, because he said he is the Son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was more afraid. So he went back inside the palace and asked Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus did not answer him. Pilate said, You refuse to speak to me? Remember, I have the power to make you free or to kill you on the cross. Jesus answered, The only power you have over me is the power given to you by God. So the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. After this, Pilate tried to let Jesus go free. But the Jewish leader shouted, Anyone who makes himself a king is against Caesar. So if you let this man go free, that means you are not Caesar's friend. When Pilate heard this, he brought Jesus out to the place called the Stone Pavement. Pilate sat down on the judge's seat there. It was now almost noon on preparation day of Passover week. Pilate said to the Jews, Here is your king. They shouted, Take him away! Take him away! Kill him on the cross! Pilate asked them, Do you want me to kill your king on the cross? The leading priest answered, The only king we have is Caesar. So Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be killed on the cross. The subject of Jesus being presented to the Jewish crowd by Pontius Pilate has been a popular subject among artists in history. Some artists, like Peter Paul Rubens, decided to focus on the presentation of Jesus, while others, like the Italian mannerism artist Jacopo Tintoretto, decided to show Jesus in front of the crowd that gathered in front of the residence of Pontius Pilate. The large majority of the paintings on this theme have three common elements. First, Jesus is wearing a woven crown of thorns, and some artists clearly show the blood that is streaming down his head because of the wounds it caused, visible in this work by Jan Kossiers from around 1620. And by the way, there are many churches that claim to have a part of the crown of thorns, but if you would put them all together, you would get a crown that is way bigger than it could have been. Second, Jesus is dressed in a colorful mantle or loincloth. It is described in the Gospel of John as a purple robe, which is indeed the color chosen by Caravaggio. But there have also been artists who chose different colors. The Baroque master Peter Paul Rubens, for example, opted for bright red, 
a choice that was imitated by several other artists. The colorful mantle, together with the crown of thorns, is a reference to Jesus being labeled the King of the Jews. And in some paintings, he also holds a palm branch as a scepter to complete the image of Jesus as the King of the Jews. Third, the hands of Jesus are bound, sometimes with shackles, like in this painting from 1607 by Cigoli, but usually with ropes, like in this work from the same period by the Flemish artist Wenzel Koberger. There are a few more common elements to these paintings, and one of them is the way that Pontius Pilate is depicted. He is present in less than half of the scenes, but if he is included, you can usually recognize him by the turban on his head, which is even visible in these etchings by Rembrandt and Lucas van Leiden. And in the cases where he is not wearing a turban, like in this version from 1543 by Titian, he is usually the best dressed person in the painting, in this instance wearing a blue Roman costume. Another noticeable element in this work is the diversity of the crowd, including people of all ages and professions. A final characteristic common to how Pontius Pilate is depicted is that he is often shown as a rather neutral and even sympathetic figure like in this work from 1605 by Caravaggio. Some early paintings also explicitly include the theme of the painting, like this work from the late 15th century, which includes banderoles with the text Ecce Homo and the response of the audience saying, crucify, crucify. Finally, in early paintings on the theme of Ecce Homo, Jesus is shown to be a real human, a man who is humiliated and suffering. But more modern paintings tend to show Jesus as a man who is making a heroic sacrifice for the sake of mankind. A man who is looking forward to fulfill his destiny. Well, I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Ecce Homo subject. Next time you go to a museum, keep your eyes out for one of these paintings as they are a very common subject, especially among Renaissance artists. And if you enjoyed this video, please support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below with your thoughts and subscribe to the channel to be alerted when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.